guys! Welcome to a Q&A video with Lady Survival coming to you from my floor. Got coffee, spooky little ghost shirt, and a spider necklace. I am so ready for uh, fall, just the spooky season, colder weather. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on an Instagram post from the other day, so I have it pulled up here on my laptop so that I can reference the questions from my laptop while I'm filming on my phone. Question number one, what is your favorite band or artist? So I'm going to say Avril Lavigne is probably my all-time biggest favorite artist band thing ever. Um, I just adore her so much. I've loved her for the longest time and her music resonates with me more than anything else and even like my style resonates with Avril Lavigne probably more than anything. Um, a couple others that I would mention is Lights who's also a Canadian artist so Avril is Canadian, Lights is Canadian, and also Marianas Trench. I don't listen to them as much as I used to but I loved them a lot for a really really long time. But they definitely hold a really special place in my heart so those are probably like my top three all-time favorite artists and bands. Next question, what would you like the next WoW expansion to be about or is there anything in particular that you'd like to see in the next one? I would really like to see a void versus light, like literally full-on like purple shadow versus light magic cosmic forces stuff and maybe going into like the cosmos and learning more about the World of Warcraft cosmology, which I feel like Shadowlands like kind of started to go there, like we were in like the Shadowlands and it was very kind of cosmic, but like I want to go like grander, like I want to explore like literally like the home of all of the cosmos and stuff, that would be really really cool. Another thing that I would love to see along with that is a full on like void Anduin. Anduin is the King of Stormwind right now and he's like a priest who's like really good, but they've been hinting at a lot of like void stuff happening with him and I'd love to see a full on like tentacly, purpley Anduin and maybe like Sylvanas could help to save him with everything that happened in Shadowlands. It would be cool if she could be the one to help him work through that. And then also another thing that I would like to see in the next expansion is for them to bring back more Sylvanas loyalist type stuff. I really want to see them allow Sylvanas loyalist to like go with Sylvanas and kind of almost start like a third faction so that will have Horde and Alliance and then like Sylvanas loyalist as like their own thing that's kind of going against everyone else like fuck you guys we're all loyalists we're gonna go do our own thing podcast recommendations or if you could recommend anything that makes you more productive and motivated so i'm actually not like a super big podcast person like i don't really know many podcasts but as far as youtubers go the two that i've really been loving recently are the wizard liz and tam Carr. i'll put them up on the screen um i found them in the last like year or two and i feel like their videos are just really really good really motivating i love to watch them while i'm doing my makeup or if I'm like running on the treadmill or exercising or whatever, uh, usually in the morning is a good time. I feel like both of them are like huge kind of reality, like no BS kind of stuff. And I just really, really love their energy. I've kind of watched a few of like the On Purpose with Jay Shetty, I think is his YouTube channel. Sometimes his podcast YouTube videos pop up in my recommended and sometimes they're interesting. So I might put on those sometimes. But also while on the topic of staying motivated and stuff, I also find that journaling is a big help and meditating, exercising, stretching, just any of those overall like wellness things whenever I'm taking care of myself. And then I listen to podcasts from that state of mind of feeling really open to receiving like self-help stuff. I feel like that combo is really really helpful and I try to always incorporate any of those things into my day, whether it's just stretching or exercising, meditating, journaling. If I do at least one of those a day, preferably more, that really, really helps, I find. The next questions are, there's a few from one person, so I'll try to answer them kind of quickly. First one, favorite books. I'm not like a huge book person, really, um, but I've always really, really loved the World of Warcraft books. I'm just gonna pull a few over. <laughs> Literally, World of Warcraft books are some of the only books that I've been able to read or at least used to be able to read because I'm so familiar with World of Warcraft stuff that I was able to read them more easily because I feel like I get really distracted when I'm reading but I'm so immersed into that world that it's easy to follow along. This year I actually read the Lord of the Rings trilogy and I'm starting to read the Silmarillion and I want to read other books from the Middle Earth universe and stuff so I've been really really enjoying those. I want to reread them. Um, I read Narnia when I was younger, really enjoyed that. I want to reread that as well. Basically fantasy genre stuff is my favorite. 
favorite foods and meals to make. So I love like Italian food, like pasta, just literally pasta lasagna is so flipping good. That's like one of my favorites ever. So I'll just list off what I would love to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just to give you guys an idea. Um, perfect breakfast would be um, pancakes or French toast with eggs and with bacon or sausage. That's like literally perfect. I would have that all the time if I could. Maybe with some fruit, apple or banana or strawberries or blueberries or something like that would be amazing. Uh, for lunches, I love like soups. Like soups are just literally amazing. Any kind of soup, potato soup, broccoli soup, chicken soup, literally anything. I love all soups. They're just so warm and cozy. I love them. And then for dinner, probably like pasta like spaghetti and meatballs or like lasagna uh maybe with like broccoli or cauliflower or something like that baked in the oven i don't know something else maybe like garlic bread or something like that sounds pretty bomb uh favorite cat toys and treats my cats love the little springs i'll try to like put a picture of them up here we've ordered a bunch of them online and they go crazy over them but then they get lost like under like the couch or under the stove so, so we always have to go dig them out or just buy more because i feel like they all just disappear but literally cat springs just forever is like the best thing ever and then treats uh recently we've been trying those like tubes like where you squeeze the like chicken or whatever out of a tube um i literally just a few months ago i tried them because i saw everyone else using them on social media and my cats literally love them i've only tried two brands so far there was like a fancy feast one and then i forget what brand we're using right now but i want to try more and find out which one they like the best. We basically just call them chicken tubes. Our cats are like obsessed with chicken. Whenever we make chicken for ourselves for dinner, I'll always like make a little piece for them that isn't seasoned, just like plain chicken, and like break them off little pieces and they go crazy. So they love the chicken tubes. So whenever we give it to them, we're all like chicken tubes, chicken tubes, and they get really, really excited. They like know that we're saying it, so I wouldn't be surprised if they like show up now. The last question from this person is, do you have a cleaning routine for keeping your house tidy? Kind of like yes and no. There's a couple things that I like to definitely try to do daily. Um, we always sweep pretty much every day when we do the cat litter because our cats spray cat litter everywhere. So sweeping is a big one. Um, and then another thing I like to do daily is trying to keep the kitchen clean. I try to after every meal deal with the dishes so they don't like pile up that much and then as far as other stuff like dusting and vacuuming and cleaning the bathrooms and doing laundry i just kind of try to keep it in my mind like once a week so usually by the time sunday is rolling around it's kind of in my mind like hey i should clean at least one of the bathrooms so we have two so maybe one week i'll clean one and then the next weekend do the other one uh, but sometimes it all doesn't happen on sunday but it's just kind of a general thing maybe on saturday or monday just originating around Sunday I'm like okay I gotta vacuum today I gotta dust something today and I just kind of try to take on like one task at a time like if I'm vacuuming it's like okay that's what I'm gonna do for the next 30 minutes to an hour however long it takes it is vacuum time uh, I actually I feel really lucky I love to clean I don't really have any issue with not being motivated to clean the only issue is sometimes I feel like I don't have time to clean and I wish that I did like it's like we're so busy and I'm like I just want to clean for the next like two hours like this sounds really really fun uh, next question what is your favorite wild animal and why so I have like two they're kind of like different categories of wild animals um so I really love possums or opossums whichever one it is I don't really know uh, but I love possums a lot they are so cute little trash animals and I have one tattooed on my leg you guys have probably seen it but maybe I'll put it up here and I really want one as a pet really bad but you're not really supposed to unless you have like a rehabilitation animal license thing uh, but I've met one in real life before at like a animal event thing and I was able to pet it and take a picture with it so maybe I'll put those in to really really love them a lot then my more kind of cool like traditional favorite wild animal would probably just be like a tiger which I feel like a lot of people love tigers but I really love them I remember my aunt bought me a little uh, wildlife plushie thing like where it helps to donate to like saving whatever animal plushie that you bought and she bought me a little tiger one so I really really like that I think it was from WWF like wildlife something in general I love all big cats lions panthers cheetahs all of them they're all really cool I just love cats next question who's your favorite wild boss and why so this one's kind of hard because I feel like I have a lot but overall I want to say blood queen Lanithel from ice crown citadel because she's just really really cool I feel like she's kind of underrated it's literally like a vampire blood elf like she's so cool she's got the wings and everything but my next one would probably be kalefoss just because I love that he's in 
Tempest Keep, and then you kill him in the other one, Magister's Terrace, and he's all like, Tempest Keep was merely a setback, and it's just really funny, and you're just like killing him again. And now he's in the Shadowlands in a raid, so I just think it's funny that like we've fought him and killed him like multiple times, and Kael'thas is hot. Next few questions are actually all from my friend Tog. Um, the first one she says is, what are your favorite non-alternative slash goth things? I literally love that question so much. Um, I'm trying to think like specifically, I guess Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift, which I feel like is very un alt slash goth. I know a lot of people do not like her. Also, another one is I actually really love like old lady aesthetic things. Like I love going to the thrift store and finding little knickknacks. And I also collect um, cat plates, like the decorative plates that have cat art on them. I don't have like a huge collection, but I really, really love them. And if I had more money, I feel like I would have hundreds of cat plates, even like old lady clothing, like specifically the old lady shirts where it's like cats on them. I don't really know. Maybe I'll try to like put some up. I feel like that's kind of non alt goth, but maybe it is because I feel like a lot of alt goth people like cats. So that's just like a cat thing. Maybe what goals do you have for yourself that may seem small to others or are genuinely small, but you'd like to accomplish? Um, I feel like my biggest one for this year has been to like read all of the Lord of the Rings, which I actually have done. I've read um, The Hobbit, The Fellowship, The Two Towers, The Return of the King, and I'm partway through The Silmarillion, so I'm actually doing better than I thought because at the start of the year, I just wanted to finish The Hobbit and the trilogy. And it's already like I still have a few months left and I've already done that and I'm going into more. So that's kind of like a small thing that's meant a lot to me because so many years have gone by of me wanting to read them but I never have so I feel like that's kind of a small thing that's important. Another one I don't really know if I would say that this is small but just kind of working on my like confidence and my anxiety and being a more like patient person so I guess just again like self-improvement uh, stuff. I'm still like my biggest thing that I feel like is in my head is that I'm just like cringy as hell and I'm trying to like remove that voice from my head so I guess just like shadow work stuff. Um, I'd love to go to therapy. I feel like I can't really afford to go, um, but I, I just really want to kill that part of myself that says that I'm not good enough. So that's kind of like a themed thing that's been going on for years that I just want to move on from. Next one, ranking of the Shrek movies. That's super easy, literally just an order. First, second, third are the best. I think that there's more than that. I feel like they've done like spin-off, like different Shrek movies, but in terms of just like one, two, and three, there is one, two, and three, right? It's been forever. I usually just watch the first one forever on repeat. Um, but as far as I remember, one, two, and three is the best order ranking. Next one, what things cheer you up when you're sad or upset? So this one, I feel like it's like kind of easy, but kind of hard to answer because I mean, right now I'm not sad or upset. So it's pretty easy to be like, oh, like just taking a nap or just playing WoW will cheer me up. But I feel like when you're actually in those shitty moods, like it's not that simple. It's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like what happens for me is that when I'm sad or upset, I know the things that I need to do to make myself feel better, but I feel stubborn about doing them. It's almost like I want to stay irritated. But what it comes down to is to just start trying to do things that make you feel better. And the first one or two things you do might not work, but you are sad or upset and you can either just sit there in your sad or upsetness or you can try to do something to bring you out of it even if it's unsuccessful it's better than not trying to do anything i think so i think that i would start with probably trying to journal it out or talk it out even if it's literally to myself in the mirror and then trying to do something that physically makes me feel better whether that's having a bath or taking a nap or trying to read a book or play some wow something to attempt to take my mind off of it i guess i just overall try to do things that tend to bring me happiness and joy or to calm me down in some way and just keep trying them until eventually the mood is killed it usually takes full on sleeping it off and usually the next day it kind of goes away so yeah. The last question from my friend is favorite World of Warcraft books. So this one is probably my favorite one ever. I've read this the most out of any of the World of Warcraft books and it is the War of the Ancients trilogy. So it's three books in one. I have them individually too but I just opt for this one because the cover is really cool anyways. Um, but it's actually falling apart. There's like pages coming out of here so that really sucks. But it is the Well of Eternity, the Demon Soul, and the Sundering. It covers a lot of stuff with Illidan and Tyrande and Malfurion. 
who is on the cover, and I absolutely uh, adore them. And it's kind of everything that happened before Azeroth sundered into all of the continents that we know them as now. And there's a lot of stuff about like the Burning Legion in here. And then this one is obviously a lot more recent, and it's my favorite book ever, even more so than this one. But this one's just such a classic that it's kind of its own thing, especially considering this just came out like last year, I think. Um, but this is my all-time favorite book ever. It's completely all into Sylvanas's life before she became undead, before she became the Banshee Queen. Um, and it's just, oh, it's literally so good. I've listened to the audiobook two times and I've read this once and I'm ready to read it again. Literally the best ever. The next question, what motivates you? Um, the biggest thing that motivates me is my dream life that I have pictured in my head, which is basically uh, working from home, being financially free, and having the time to play World of Warcraft or just do whatever I want whenever I want. I feel like that's everyone's dream, but I feel like I have it super strongly ingrained into my head. I think having that vision like so strongly ingrained into your head really helps to motivate you because I feel like other people want that but they don't really want it bad enough, but I want it like really, really bad. And I have a lot of obstacles with getting me there, such as my um, anxiety and like confidence issues and stuff, because that's like my biggest obstacle that's in the way. That's why I think I'm so into self-improvement and trying to like heal myself and my inner child shadow work stuff that I need to do. I think sometimes seeing how toxic and how cruel some people are just makes me really really angry. I do everything in my power to never be anything even remotely like that. Like I just want to be so far away from that. I think that seeing really shitty people just makes me motivated to be an even better person and I think being a better person helps you with reaching your goals because it's like a mindset kind of thing. I think overall just knowing that younger Brooke wanted something specific and trying to fulfill that and also just being really scared of even letting older me down like I don't want to be 80 or 90 years old and like regret stuff so I'm just constantly being motivated by what past me wants and what future me wants and kind of knowing like what does present me have to do to not let down either sides of those and like bring those dreams to life is really motivating that was actually the last question I didn't even know I just scrolled down and that was the last question so that concludes our q a I hope that you guys enjoyed it I did it completely um, unscripted I didn't really plan for it. I had read through the questions so I kind of had an idea of what they were but my answers were just totally unfiltered whatever I could think of at the time. Thank you guys so much for asking all of the questions. I really really enjoyed it. If you guys ever want me to do something like this again I would totally uh, be down for it. If you have any questions feel free to just leave them down below and if I gather up enough questions maybe I could do this uh, again sometime but I might wait about a month so it's not like back-to-back -back Q and A's or anything. I'm gonna go now. I actually have to run to the post office to drop off a package from an Etsy order that we got. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!